Hi, I'm Tim Faircloth. And I'm Jenny Lou Jones. Welcome to the luxurious side of cruising and thank you for joining us once again on Cruise Lounge. Welcome back on board, thank you. Yes, today we are indulging in all things opulence as we sail with the world's most awarded luxury cruise line, none other than Crystal Cruises. Just the name Crystal sounds bougie. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it invokes feelings of soothing comfort, absolutely lavish suites, and just sublime six-star service that anticipates your every need. Oh, unquestionably. It's about saying yes to requests you haven't even asked. I need that at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. And I guess the term luxury may well be different for every traveller, but one commonality is the desire for freedom, to do what you want, when you want, and how you want to do it. So today we are here in Crystal's aptly named Waterside Restaurant, where uh, I'm going to be enjoying a little seafood lunch with the finest of French champagne. I know, Jenny, you've scored again. Uh, this, is, this show is working out really well for me. I like it. <laughs> it has, and deservedly so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now for lunch, I will be joined by the one and only Brigitte Devries from Crystal Cruises, and we will be luxuriating in Crystal's impeccable butler service, their Michelin star rated dining options, and we'll be talking about their number one award winning river cruise program. Amazing. And I'll be down in the lounge talking about Crystal's other incredible experiences like their ocean cruise of course. Uh, I'll be talking their expedition close to my heart mm. and also about their private aircraft with Andy Loving from Crystal. Sounds amazing. I love today's episode. Can I say that? <laughs> you can. <laughs> We're living a little Kardashian life today. Team Kardashian! <laughs> <laughs> okay. But look, Make it happen. Hashtag Tim Kardashian. <laughs> All right. Look, I better vacate my seat for Brigitte so you enjoy your lunch. Okay, bye, Tim K. <laughs> I'll, I'll save you a little glass of champagne. Okay. Au revoir. A bientôt. <laughs> Welcome back. I am joined by the Vice President of Crystal Cruises Australia, Brigitte Devries. Brigitte, welcome to Cruise Lounge's very own waterside restaurant. I mean, how did we do? Jenny, thank you so much for having me. How did you do? Look at this place. It looks fantastic. <laughs> and have thank a look you. at this gorgeous cuisine we have right in front of us. Well, look, Tim Kardashian has served us up a beautiful king prawn and avocado stack. And the king prawns are actually locally sourced too, which I hear Just is... Just like Crystal do. That's it, yes. So there are lots of things that are unique to Crystal Cruises. And I was wondering if you can talk about what epitomizes the crystal experience? Of course. Well, instead of talking about it, why don't we just take a look at this? What makes a memory last a lifetime? The kind you never tire of retelling, even decades later. One that warms the heart and carries you to wondrous points of view. Reviving childhood interests. Elevating your spirits. Giving birth to new aspirations. Moments of kinship. Where the little touches touch you and tiny details delight. Where each day holds the promise of infinite possibilities. Where beauty is tasted. Life celebrated masterful moments shared moments that bring you closer to those you love inspiring new adventures new outlooks Moments that renew you. How do you make memories that last a lifetime? 
with the world's most awarded luxury cruise line. Crystal, where luxury is personal. Wow, that was incredible. Wasn't that something? I mean, can I come on the next one? Absolutely. <laughs> now, um, the butler service, I just want to talk about that for a quick second. It looks so high class and luxurious, but it also looks really effortless, like they just it, blend in. It is. It's very relaxed and effortless and mm. completely unobtrusive. So you don't even know they're there half the time. So all those little details, finer details are always looked after. Mm. You know, for the minute that you step on board, you already have your favorite glass of champagne with you. Oh, sounds perfect. And yes. it's 24 seven service, isn't it? It certainly is. You can dine in your your cabin um, any time of the day should you wish from any of the myriad event menus and venues that we have on board which makes it really just it's very very casual um, but also just you know very convenient too. Yeah and I, I saw that um, you can have massages in your room you can have dining in your room this everything can be brought to you. That's exactly right and it's all inclusive as well so you think You're about kidding. it. No and it's I must and have that's, missed that bit. <laughs> yes and that's what Crystal is all about it it's all inclusive luxury mm. you know the minute that you step on board everything is just taken care of by your butler all your meals even in the specialty restaurants everything from your wi-fi to all beverages so free pour of, of, of your champagnes your wines your beers spirits and even coffee that sounds amazing and you were talking about the specialty restaurants can you can you expand a bit more on that of course it's the specialty restaurants i mean we do have it's all michelin star based as well so um, we have everything from Umi Uma, who is devised and created by very well-known Chef Nobu. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, we have Prego, which is Northern Italian favourites. Mm. And then we have a Brazilian churrascaria. Um, and then a very, you know, casual dining experience, such as we're experiencing right now at the Waterside Restaurant. So, and, um, and mind you, everything is all open seating as well. So it's come and go as you please, no bookings are required. Although that said, we do recommend that you do book for the specialty restaurants as they do book out because they're quite popular. Um, but again, that's something that your butler is able to look after for you. Yeah, and you mentioned the open dining. So um, I think a, a trend in travel recently is there's a lot more solo traveling. So, you know, it's, it's quite awkward when, you, when you're a solo traveler and you go into a restaurant and you have to sit by yourself in a table for four. So I, in Crystal, you really get to mingle with the other solo they travelers, do, don't yes. you? Yes, and Crystal do make, make sure that all the solo travelers are really well looked after. You know, every day they can check, you know, the daily, um, the daily news that are there and to see what particular tables are available for solo travellers. So then those guests that are travelling on their own are able to mix and mingle with other guests as well and make lifelong friends a lot of the time as well, which, mind you, which is a really nice thing. You really yeah. do that a lot when you're travelling, yeah, especially you cruising, don't you? Yes, absolutely you do. Yeah, and that's what travelling's all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I was researching for this episode, I couldn't help but have a look at the suites and they are just absolutely stunning. I mean, the glass that's across the entire wall. I mean, where else are you going to get views like that? Well, you won't, and that's just the thing. I'm going, Crystal have won so many awards just based on their, their accommodation and the layout and everything. That big king size bed that you mm. that we've seen just before, looking out into that huge big window is just magnificent. And then that, you know, the glass comes down halfway down. So it's it's like an indoor outdoor type of situation there where you just feel like you, you can touch the destination. I can just imagine waking up and opening the curtains and seeing just, you know, the new destination and looking at it while in bed. Bed. Absolutely. Like, that well, that's seems... the whole idea. So that is, of course, as we discussed, the river vessels, but with the beautiful ocean ships. Oh, wow. I mean, the, the large, big veranda, large, big teak verandas that we have on board are just the perfect setting for that afternoon wine, looking out into the ocean. Oh. Can't get any better than that. I mean, why would you even ever leave your room? I wouldn't. You don't really want to. <laughs> but if you ever so choose to venture beyond, is there a dress code? Because it's quite luxurious. It is, and that that's the thing. Even though with the luxurious surroundings, the actual attire that is recommended on board is just resort casual which makes it a much more relaxed environment on board and everyone can really just enjoy themselves at their own pace and at their own leisure. Relaxed and effortless. Absolutely, that's, <laughs> that's spot on. <laughs> You and I are a little bit zhuzhed up today, but that's just fun. You know, who doesn't like dressing up a little bit every now and then? Is that an option for guests who do want to get a little bit more formal? Yes, and look, we still have guests that really still want to, you know, put that tuxedo on and put that fancy ball gown still on. And we do have evenings available for those that choose to do so. So Tim and Andy are going to talk about Crystal Cruises 
incredible ocean ships, but we would, are going to focus on the river cruises and Crystal's award-winning river cruise program. Now, this might seem really obvious, but sometimes the most beautiful and amazing part of a river cruise is the river itself. You know, you, you go to cities, after towns, after villages, you're cruising through historical sites that no one gets to see without the hassle of an airport, of crowds, and you get to go and in, sail right into the best part of town. And that's what a river cruise offers you. So can you talk a little bit about Crystal's river cruises? Yes, of course. And you know, and in addition to everything that you've said there, you know, all our guests will be seeing, you know, these gorgeous towns in the lap of luxury on board our gorgeous river, river ships. We have four ships to choose from, each departing from different cities every different week and usually comprising of seven night itineraries. So it's a nice week break as well. Mm. Um, but everything is included again, you know, as we discussed earlier, your meals, your Wi-Fi, all your beverages, shore excursions. I mean, even the shore excursions that we have on offer are, uh, you know, unmatched by anything else that's out there. Um, even bicycles, so you can take your own bike and off you go and just enjoy the city at your own pace wherever, wherever you happen to be. So just those little extra little touches as well, which makes, you know, makes a, a real, uh, I guess, um, you know, m memorable experience, you know, for our clients, our clients. And, you know, the accommodation too, as we discussed too, those gorgeous luxurious suites, even the bathrooms yeah. are so beautifully um, furnished and, and refined with all the gorgeous amenities. And, and of course, you know, it's, it's a fully inclusive affair. It just seems like the best way to just sail into town in the lap of luxury. Yes, and, and without the hassle of, you know, you, you literally you turn it right at the pier there and you're stepping off so close to town and you've got mm. all day to, to enjoy. So, Brigitte, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> now, because it's heading into Christmas, Tim did ask me to talk to you about Crystal Cruises and Christmas markets. And I'm a bit confused because I've been to the ones in Munich, but I didn't realize that it had any association with, with cruises. Yes, yes. And not only do they happen in Munich, they happen all along the Rhine and the mm. Danube in Europe. And, you know, for some, this really is a bucket list thing to do, you know, tick off that bucket list. And I mean, for me, I, Christmas is one of my most favorite part times of the Christmas year. So and um, I'm desperate to do one of these, hopefully one day soon. And so at each of these ports of call where guests get off, every Every night it's it's another magical journey um, you know to these Christmas markets you get off the ship and all the lights are all amongst a beautiful wow. architecture you know the, the, the cathedrals and the yeah. beautiful old buildings that are around the surrounds and at the foothills of these buildings are all the Christmas markets that they've set up and you've got your, your cup of glue vine there is and the then glue you, vine. you know absolutely yeah. <laughs> let's set the scene you got your glue vine you got the carolers singing in the background you snow everywhere twinkling lights yes, it's stunning it is it's so beautiful and and then you know and then you can go out and meander through the different markets and mm. pick up homemade trinkets and homemade it, treats yes homemade <laughs> treats as well yes beautiful biscuits and breads and cakes mm. that have been made by the locals and another thing which is fantastic for a girls and which they absolutely love is that connection that they have with the makers of these trinkets because they're, they're there selling these yeah. special you know handmade parcels and mm. and goods you know and so they love that connection they love the discussion and the communication you know and then there's and then you go home with a story you're Absolutely. not just going to a shopping center and picking something up you're talking to someone you're getting to know their life yes and that's so true and again that's all about travel that beautiful yeah. connection yeah and then of course when guests get back on our, our ships you know we've got we've got all the trimmings of Christmas on board too so you haven't lost that connection at all it's a full Christmas affair with these beautiful itineraries and um, I really want to spend this Christmas doing that now yes, <laughs> I know. It, def it definitely is something that, that that should be done and mm. uh, uh, for families it, it's an absolute must I think oh, it's a really beautiful thing, thing to, do. A family to do yes. yes well Brigitte thank you so much for joining us oh, today thank you so much for having me I've absolutely loved every minute and I really appreciate the opportunity just to talk about all things crystal today it's nice to be cruising again isn't it it really is now um are you wanting to dig into this oh, I thought you would never ask <laughs> can we can we hoe in absolutely now um before we Go to the boys. Let's cross over to Peter and he's going to talk about his time with Crystal Cruise Line. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Thanks guys. What a great topic this week. Crystal Cruises, of course. Uh, much of my life at sea was uh, on board this beautiful brand and uh, from even, it was, well back in 2000 when I started, but I remember in 2003, 
uh, also being there during the Crystal Serenity build in Saint Nazaire in France, and uh, that was certainly a special time. Uh, seeing that ship come together and then sailing on its inaugural cruise. But I want to talk about something we talk, uh, you know, we mentioned service quite a lot in the cruise industry and it particularly pertains to Crystal of course as well. And I want to give you an example of why service is so personalised and special. Now, as a shore excursion manager I would dispatch tours uh, and running, run up and down that gangway all day making sure new groups are coming in to the, the, the right transportation, the guides are all in place and everything's on time. And just as I finished dispatching a tour, and I can't remember which region it was, but no, Crystal, it's somewhere in the world. Um, I saw uh, an Aussie couple on board, which I've known for many cruises. I get a lot of repeat guests on, on Crystal. And I said to him, oh, how's your day? What are you doing today? And he said, oh, we're just going to self-explore. We've been here a few times and we've got some ideas. I said, that's great. And I said, how was your breakfast? And he, he was like, you know what, as usual, breakfast was superb, you know, we're only missing the Vegemite, ha ha ha, and I'm like, yeah, no worries. So look, he's gone off, he's had his great day, but of course, I actually have a little notepad in there, which all Crystal staff had, and I mentioned Vegemite. Off to the Matra D, next morning, he, he uh, woke up, he had his breakfast, and all of a sudden there was a jar of Vegemite at his table, without even requesting. Now, he probably even forgot that he mentioned it as a, a byline to me uh, for a joke, but that's what service is about. It's about attending, listening to your passengers, ensuring how can I make their day special, and then actioning it. Um, true service. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Pete. Look, that really does epitomise the Crystal service. So welcome back to the lounge, and I'm here with Andy Lovin, who's the sales manager for Crystal Cruises Australia. Welcome, Andy. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. And it's great to be here, with a, especially with a view like that, oh, it's, considering it's, it's been a terrible 2020. Nice, back, yeah. to, back cruising again, which is great. You've got me all dolled up today, because it's crystal, and I thought, you know, it was very rare to get me in a jacket, <laughs> uh, but here we are. So, the girls touched on your river, amazing river program, but for me, you know, as much as I love the river, mm. I love the ocean, and I love your two ships. So let's start mm. with um, a bit about the ships, because mm. they're just so fantastic. So, Crystal Serenity, now we're talking um, nearly 70,000 tonnes, which is a decent sized ship, mm -hmm. but only 1,000 passengers. Yeah, that's correct. So uh, yeah, about 980 passengers uh, max, uh, a one to, about a 1 to 1.5 guest to staff ratio as well. So I think moving forward with yeah. cruising, it's going to be very, very important in terms of uh, talking size of ships with the whole social distancing 100%, thing. 100%, yeah. So I think it's about 60 square metres um, space to guest ratio on board as well, mm -hmm. which is going to be increasingly important in what's going to be the new norm of cruising moving yep. forward. So really good sized ships, great to social distance and um, you know I, I love being on ships that aren't, you know, they're not overly um, full. So you know, great, lot of room to move and, and spacious as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And mm -hmm. Symphony is the same. And for me, having a connection to the ocean, which a lot of ships don't have these days, that beautiful wraparound promenade deck is mm -hmm. everything to me. Oh, and it's it a full, you know, you can do the full run, the full laps. Yeah, and it's, it's up to people if they want to do their, their morning walks around the promenade. Yeah. You can, uh, you know, enjoy a... How many laps to the mile, mate? Come on. Oh, I, could, I couldn't <laughs> tell you. It's, running isn't my thing. I think I'd rather be drinking on the, the promenade of, of an evening, enjoying the, uh, the sundowners. But, so mate, um, these beautiful ships of yours, Symphony and Serenity, are they coming back to Australia? Yeah, most definitely. So we're actually lucky enough to uh, have Symphony out down here end of next year, so end of 21. She'll actually be uh, hitting the west coast um, Fremantle. Uh, guests will actually be able to travel from uh, Fremantle across to Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, and amazingly, she'll actually be in Sydney for New Year's Eve. Oh, guests, wow, yep. Yeah, guests Beautiful. will actually be able to stay on board, watch the fireworks and yeah, just yeah. get the full um, Sydney News experience. No, you probably yeah. don't know yet, but is it the OPT or White Bay? I'd say it'd be White oh, Bay, wouldn't it? I've, I've, I've got a feeling it might be White yeah, Bay. I've but, got a uh, it <laughs> yes. Yeah, because yeah, the restaurants there to the APT might be too happy. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be the but case. still, that's good. Look, I've been on board a ship yeah. uh, on New Year's Eve at White Bay, and the view of the fireworks there is, is phenomenal. Plus, a lot of the guests mm. went on special tours, which I'm sure Crystal would do as well, into the, the city. That's right. So um, that's next, uh, not this coming New Year's Eve, but the following one. So Yes, fabulous, that's correct. Yeah. Still space on that? Tell you what, I think I think I think there might be a few tips. <laughs> One we can, cabin, maybe. I think <laughs> we can find a cabin for you. Yes. Um, and then, yes, you had to lock it in. Lock it in. 
she heads across to um, to New Zealand as well. Um, yep. Some really nice New Zealand itineraries. Um, we, you know, we can't forget beautiful New Zealand. Yeah, I like that well. too. I'll stay on board and yeah, anyway. We'll, we'll, I'll see what I can do for yeah. you, mate. <laughs> now, mate, so something close to my heart, as you know, is mm. expedition. So you've got uh, one vessel at the moment, which I think you like to refer to as your yacht experience, mm -hmm. Crystal Esprit, and it yep. is that, but it's kind of both. It's yacht and, and expedition, yep. and you've got one on the way, a new build. Yeah, so our uh, one on the way, so Crystal en Endeavour, Endeavour, I should say, mm -hmm. is um, our, I suppose you'd call it um, super yachts or um, super... It's just super. Yeah. It is just super. So it, it's, it's a real immersive experience. So in terms of... Um, you know what we're, what we're going to be offering. It's essentially um, sailing from you know uh, Alaska, um, Far North Passage, um, Antarctica, and the, the the goal for us is to really immerse our guests, um, you know, on boards with zodiacs, taking zodiac landings, um, you know, seeing wildlife, but still having that you know six star experience on board, but really bringing them into the actual um, destinations that we're going to be um, we're going to be featuring there. So yeah. yeah. Magic. Mm. And Esprit. So I've actually got, um, before you get into talking about your yacht experience, mm -hmm. I do have a little uh, a little clip here which will give you an idea on what Esprit is all about. I think this one's in the West Indies. Can we go somewhere new, some special place I've never been? I'd like to do something crazy, we should try to run away. That's uh, bloody amazing. You should be proud of that little yeah. experience. Submarine? Submar I'll tell you what, Crystal Spree, um, like I'd have to say if I have a favourite, it's got to be it's gotta be a Spree. Um, I think I've got a favourite too. How many passengers on that? So 62 guests, yep. uh, 93 crew if you can believe it. Oh, you're so kidding me. If you, like, I've actually never known a calculation of the more crew to... You can you can think about the, uh, the you know, the f fantastic hospitality experience, you're going to get on board with that type of, um, you know, crew oh, to absolutely. guest ratio. Yeah. Um, but you know the, the yacht itself. Um, we really try and focus on um, going to these yachting destinations that are um, you know world renowned, Dalmatian coast. We're actually the only um, yacht in the world that's actually allowed to sail in the Seychelles. Believe it or not, so something a bit oh, different okay. there. Um, but some of the experiences on board as well. You know, we've got this incredible uh, marina off the back of the. Um, yep. Which on the Dalmatian coast, can you imagine? Oh, yeah. it's just, you know, being able to, um, you know, snorkel off there and, you Straight know, use the, the ship. Yeah, yeah like yeah. use the jet skis if um, obviously weather permitting. Yeah. But um, just, you know, really, again, get, getting um, our guests into the water, immersing themselves in everything, and it's a phenomenal experience. That's that's me. That's right. Tea. I could see you on there. Yeah. <laughs> now, mate, um, let's just, because we are living that little Kardashian life tonight. Yeah, that's right. And, or today, sorry, yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> And I believe recently, so you've got, Crystal has its own private aircraft. I believe you have two. You've we got do. a large one and a smaller one. We do indeed. But before you go on, yeah. the Kardashians did actually charter your your uh, larger aircraft recently? They did, very, yeah, good uh, good knowledge. That's uh, not a really well um, well known out there in the... Uh, Brigitte told me. <laughs> she, there you go, yeah. No, we're, we're very proud of that, to be honest. Obviously, the Kardashians get a lot of um, got a lot, lot of airplay, so very proud. Yep. But not only that, we've actually had the um, Uruguayan football team charter okay. it um, yep. during the World Cup. Yep. And I think even some Saudi um, prince or Saudi royal family may have even... Oh, um, it looks beautiful. Um, but look, just explain to me, so it's not just a private charter of the aircraft, you do what you, what I believe you would call air cruising. Correct, yep. So for one, um, we can actually cater specific um, air cruise itineraries. So, um, you know, guests can actually pick a, a fantastic itinerary they want somewhere in the world and actually pair it with getting on a crystal sky. So our, um, you know, our 
Boeing 7, uh, I should say Boeing 777. Is that the name um, of the aircraft, Crystal Sky? Crystal Sky. Like it, yeah. It's amazing. So yeah, it's Boeing 777. A little bit about the aircraft. Um, we've spared no expense. Essentially, it's full um, flat chair rec recliners, so you can literally sleep on boards. Um, it's got a stand-up bar, lounge area. Um, our butlers are on board, believe it or not. Oh, really? So you're getting that full crystal butler experience yeah, right. on board um, the flights. Transitions so are nicely onto your yacht. Exactly right. So mm -hmm. it's almost like you've got the um, you know the ship experience on board um, mm -hmm. you know our our jet. So um, absolutely amazing. Um, and and as you said, like uh, you know, great to pair up with the with the cruisers. Yeah, yeah. And also, it can be privately um, privately chartered yeah. for groups or um, for leisure leisure travel as well. So this is something I'm not actually familiar with. So these are, these are actually are genuine questions. But are there? Can you go onto like the Crystal website and there's itineraries where this, that this air cruising will do, or is it more of a tailored? It's more it's more tailored. So it's something that um, uh, you know, if it's a bit more specialised in the sense that if people, I suppose, you know, have have the money, the the know how to uh, know where they want to go, um, we will actually cater it specifically for them, so they can come to us. Oh, I see. So um, there's no pre-planned itineraries. It no, really is a bespoke. We, exactly, it's completely bespoke. Um, we'll cater it to their um, unique specifications. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Well, Brigitte, sign me up for that too. Then, right? <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, mate. Uh, I think we've covered it. We, we can't. We can sit here and talk all day because yeah. you know I love luxury. I love expedition. I love this aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think um, with that footage we've seen today, the girls chatting about the river, us touching on the ocean, the yacht, the expedition, the air, so much to Crystal that is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, your service is second to none, hence winning the award so many times for the best luxury cruise line in the world. So mate, thank you for coming in and uh, enjoying oh, no the luxury with us today. Thank you so much for having us. It's been fantastic. And like I said, it's uh, great to be uh, talking all things crystal and you know back on the seas again. Back at sea, yeah. It's, That's uh, it. yeah. Is the weather yeah. picking up? It might be picking up. I think, yeah, I think yeah. it might be. A bit of a sunny afternoon. <laughs> all right, yeah. mate. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you so much yeah. again, Tim. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers so mate. much. Alrighty, how was your beautiful lunch, Jenny? It was absolutely delicious. Tim Kardashian, I feel like you could be a Michelin star chef. Well, I was a chef, I wasn't Michelin star. But, uh, yeah, we... <laughs> robbed, you were robbed. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Look, I was just trying to recreate a little bit of fun here and a little bit of, um, I, like you said, focusing on the local produce, which was mm. the king prawns, the mango, everything in season. Uh, well, which, we're which so, Crystal does. so spoiled in Australia. Well, we are spoiled with, here, you know, but that's when, when Crystal cruises around the world, that's what they mm. do. The chef will go off and hand pick whatever is in season, fresh, you know, straight off the trawler in, in some cases. That's so, amazing. Yeah. Now, look, uh, before we go, it was a lovely, lovely night, uh, day. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to uh, mention that um, this week, Jenny did actually get married. That's right. I'm actually Jenny Lou Jones now. She is Jenny Lou Jones. <laughs> and so, Tim very kindly photographed our ceremony. You're very welcome. But look, I just wanted to say congratulations. Uh, Andy is a top bloke. And not the are, Andy who was on today. Not the Andy who was <laughs> on No, different Andy. Uh, you're a top bloke. You've heard, uh, you've heard Jenny mention him before, but uh, your husband Andy is a top bloke. You're a top girl, so uh, perfect match, right? Thank you. No, you're welcome. And I, look, I'm just going to sneak in a little photo here of the bride and groom. <laughs> There they are on that day. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that wraps up another episode. We've got uh, one, one more, to, more go to go. For, one more to go for the season. But, it's uh, very exciting. Um, yeah. I can't believe it's just really flown by. Yeah, it has. Mm. But look, it was lovely, luxury, luxuriating. Say that again. Luxuriating tonight, <laughs> and you probably won't see me in a jacket for a while. So uh, you'll probably still see me dressed up <laughs> yes. because I don't know how else to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and we will see you next week for the season finale. We will. Thanks so much, guys. See you later. Hi. That's all right. Jeez. How are you? <laughs> Wouldn't that be good if we did that with the sound of thongs going by? <laughs> <laughs> it's luxury. High class, opulence. Aussie flat, luxury, flat, mate. Flat, 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 flat. <laughs> <laughs> now the term luxury Maybe. So, did I throw you off? Mm. <laughs> well, you hey Jenny, how was your dinner? Lunch. Was, <laughs> now welcome back.
to the lounge and with me from Crystal Cruises, the sales manager for Crystal Cruises. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, don't worry about it still, to be honest. Here <laughs> <laughs> we go. <laughs> Fleet with Andy Loving from Crystal. Hello. <laughs> I love today's episode. It was impeccable butler service, just Michelin, Michelin, impeccable butler service, Michelin star rated restaurant, and number one award winning River Cruise program. Michelin, okay, impeccable, impeccable butler service, Michelin star rated, Michelin star rated dining, dining options, and number one award winning River Cruise program. I got this, I got this, I can do this. Okay, let's go. I'm glad that paragraph has your name above it, not mine. <laughs> Michelin star rated dining options, and we'll be talking about their number one River Cruise program. Award winning River Cruise program. <laughs> You didn't look at me much. You were looking at the camera. You just occasionally look at me. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's a, you know. Herr Director. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what, how did I miss that joke? Tim Kardashian. Hey, yes, that's got to go in there for sure. <laughs> I don't know, I thought we were rivering. How do you think you're in I thought we were rivering today. Oh, yeah. Sounds incredible. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Well, well. <sighs> Can I leave that? Of course. Well, rather than talking about it, how about I show you a little clip first? <laughs> was that too? Was that, was, was that a bit too Burt Newton Morning Show like with Moira? <laughs> There's a fly. <laughs> Were you joking? I, oh, I don't know. No. It was flying during oh, that. Oh no. Get the more teen. There it is, there, there it is. is. There it is. But don't spray it on the food because I want to eat it. Yeah, me too. Can we start eating? I'm starving. <laughs>